we're seeing is this shift in society where we have a stream of information that comes at us of our choice. We curate that stream and we choose what's interesting. And uh, I think that's a, a very different thing that's happening in the world today. Well, it's the most important for a family member to understand that chemical dependency is a disease. Do they have a stigma or a sense of shame about being involved around this? Most family members believe that they're responsible for the disease. When I do my work, my artwork, I go to a state of meditation. They use it in, in different ceremonies for cleansings. In my culture in Oaxaca, we use it for uh, a mushroom ceremony. Those were kind of psychedelic times back there. We were interested in psychedelics and we took them very seriously. It was a very private thing. We wouldn't tell anybody if we were going to have a psychedelic trip. It's a very sacred site, which literally is, you know, old prophets, you know, like old uh, people who, who seek the, the, like new ways to do healing. They would go and seek out these, these areas. What they gain is knowledge, knowledge to heal, knowledge to create these rituals. As me being a teenager, you know, I have problems. You can help people no matter what, and that you should help people. If you feel that way towards your family, you can feel that way towards another person outside of your family. Whether we have blood relation or not, we are all here and we all share the same space. The other side, el otro lado, that's how you call, we call the states when I was living in Mexico, and people that went to the other side. Whatever caused us to reproduce in that first cell, not people, but of anything of nature, we all came out of that one moment. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you What's try. give me strength is the future because I always hope better things is coming. I believe in systemic change.